We are glad you all, alms and soul guard alike, have arrived safely. We have been waiting. Overseer Molibe, how do you fare this fine day? Well, your majesty, though from now on I will address you as the alm of water, Undine's chosen and pride of both Ilistana and the members of the Watch alike. There is yet another surprising presence within this convoy. The Alm of the Moon. Yes, sir. I am Morley, newly appointed by the Elemental Luna once her blessing was restored to the land. There has been no better news heard in the garrison for years. As children of the parish ourselves, we are glad to hear that Atern is not gone forever. Hello, Alm of Wind at your service. It is my honor. I have greeted many Alms of Wind, but none have had such a robust aura as yourself. The Goddess of Mana will surely rejoice at the power you'll bring forth into the world. Aw, you're just saying that. But flattery will get you everywhere. And where might the Alm of Fire be? She... The Alm of Fire... Yes. I see. Then Tiania has no chosen this year. Eruptions will scorch the earth with fire from every fissure. The wind will rage and the winged fall flightless. Pure waters will run foul and disease spread. The moon's hold over time will splinter, depriving all beings of logic. Every land has their own legend of disaster. Guju and Etern each saw calamity transpire. Tiania will surely be the next to succumb. Where mana ceases to flow, tragedy follows. Such is the way of things. <sighs> it's been a while since I heard the prophecy of Etern's demise. It sounds wrong. Well, you know how these old prophecies go, Morley. Besides, Luna's back. So there's nothing to worry about anymore? Not good. I gotta get Hina's core stone back. Has a Gaian traveler come through this area recently? Besides yourselves, we've only had contact with messengers from Ilistana lately. Thanks anyway. Orin is either late or lying in wait in a less frequented location. We must not linger long before leaving for Elusia Isle, lest we lose our advantage. Time is of the essence. Let's see to the growing of the jack seed. Gloriosa. The watch is tasked with performing the ceremonial planting and watering of the jack seed. The ritual is quite specific. We will see to the preparations. Please go to the rear of the garrison. Not another ritual. I know it's not the same, but just hearing the word is enough to set me on edge. Okay, let's just- Step up! Welcome. What will it be? Excellent choice. Thanks a bunch. 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 Stop by again. Hmm. Welcome. What'll it be? Come again. Hmm? Welcome. 
What can I get for you? Are these wares? Thank you. Are these wares? Thank you. Please come again. The seed is planted. Now, we must water it. Commence the watering, Gloriosa. Spirits of Earth, we beseech you, bring life forth from this barren soil. Guide the alms over the cliffs and to Elusia beyond. Wow, I didn't think it would really work. As we feared, the power of Earth has grown too weak. What do you mean? Four years passed, the Alm of Earth was prevented from completing her sacrifice. Ever since, the soil has been unsuited for growing plants, even as far away as here in Dede. Without the blessings of Earth, the vegetation here screams for sustenance. Even with an ocean between you, you feel the effects from Guju? So, does that mean, uh, this little baby sprout isn't going to get any taller? Are we gonna have to try and scale the cliffs to get to Elusia ourselves? That might be difficult. How many days would it set us back? A definite dilemma. There may be a solution. If you can ask to borrow the powers of Gnome, Elemental of Earth, he may be able to restore our soil. The Earth Elemental, huh? Though Guju is gone, it's possible that the Elemental is still in the vicinity. That would make sense. Luna was still in a tarn. We found the Elemental of the Moon. I trust we can find Gnome as well. Guju. The Earth Village. There's a chance that Liza is still there too. I'll get you back, Hina. I promise. Just a little longer. There should be a boat from the free city of Tsata that will take us there. Then let's make for Tsata. Soil that once brought life turns all to dust and stone. Is there any mana left to sustain the land of Guju and its elemental? We're on our way. But where exactly should we head from here? To the left of the pasture is higher terrain. We should start there. Once we traverse the bridge path and the moors, we should be able to see our target. Command me! Our forces made this outcome an obvious one. Grizzly! Protect everyone! Let me see. This might be useful. Victory.
This place is called Entwine Bridge Pass. Huh, strange name. People began calling the bridge Entwine after hearing the tale of a legendary hero proclaiming his undying passion for his paramour on this pass. It's meant to symbolize the love of hearts entwined, no matter the distance between them. Father told me about it during one of our market trips. I'm a memory, a whisper at your fingertips. Entwine, huh? It's not a bad name, I guess. Reminds me of times with my mother. We're following in the steps of legendary heroes and the alms of old. Walking over this bridge is kind of a big deal, huh? Across the ocean lies the island of Lorimar and Terratio, a world-renowned theater. There, they periodically produce a play detailing the legend of a great hero of old. This bridge pass is also mentioned within the story. It is truly a touching tale. If we find ourselves with time, we should watch the performance. So many people have taken this same road, passed these same landmarks. It has seen a lot. The bridge pass literally connects the past to the present. Well, that bridge was way longer than I thought. Longer than the one through a tarn. True. I marvel at the masterful masonry of our ancestors. The bridge pass was built quite a long time ago. It is older than the oldest of our lore pertaining to that legendary hero. I can't even wrap my mind around how old that is. The Tailed from the East earnestly endeavored to enhance their relations with the human settlement in the West. Thus, they requested the Gaians to build a bridge that might connect them. And now we will be able to reach the Earth Elemental Gnome, thanks to the ancient Gaians and the very same structure. The drier it gets, the hotter the sun feels. At least we're on track to make it to the free city of Tsata. Then we charter a boat and make our way across the sea. Let's get going. Let's rest up! 